Well, a big development in the college admissions cheating scandal. Actress Felicity Huffman and other parents are now planning to plead guilty. Fox News' Molly Line has been following this from the beginning. She joins us now with details. So, Molly, why are Huffman and these parents choosing to please plead guilty? Yeah, well, fairly significant development in this case. You mentioned the most recognizable of face, of course, but there are 13 out of 33 parents that have chosen to take this route. But there are others uh, that have chosen to take this to trial. Uh, and these are, as we've been talking about this story, very wealthy people, wealthy CEOs. There's a winemaker involved. You mentioned the actresses. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what Huffman's reasoning is. She put out a statement, and it says in part uh, that she's essentially taking responsibility here, putting out a statement, but proclaiming her daughter's innocence. My daughter knew absolutely nothing about my actions and in my misguided and profoundly wrong way I have betrayed her this transgression toward her and the public I will carry for the rest of my life now others who prosecutors say have agreed to plead guilty pursuant to plea agreements so that gives us a little bit of a hint as to perhaps why some of these parents chose to take the route that they have among them Jane Buckingham the CEO of a boutique marketing company based in Los Angeles was asked by Singer that's the mastermind of the entire scheme to provide a handwriting sample from her son so the Mark Riddell that's the very talented test taker that played a major role in this scheme could try to emulate it while taking the AC, uh, the ACT test. Buckingham complied. She emailed this sample with a little notation saying, good luck with this. Hmm. There's Augustine Huniz Jr., the owner of a vineyard in Napa, California, who stands accused of paying both for the exam cheating and paying to bribe the water polo coaches at the University of Southern California to facilitate his daughter's admission. His daughter did not play water polo, but a fabricated athletic profile did include a photo of someone else playing water polo. And Gordon Kaplan, uh, who was the co-chair of a major international law firm at the time of the crime, seen uh, leaving uh, court, leaving court, uh, the Daily Mail.com, caught him on camera. Kaplan allegedly paid $75,000 to have his daughter's uh, ACT test corrected. Very similar to Huffman, he's put out a statement taking responsibility and claiming that his daughter had no idea, writing, she had no knowledge whatsoever about my actions and has been devastated to learn what I did and has been hurt the most by it. So some of these parents essentially uh, understanding the impact, the embarrassment that they may have caused their children, many of whom in this scandal did not know this cheating was taking place. It is, however, notable uh, those not on this list. Lori Laughlin, her husband, mm. fashion designer Massimo Giannulli, uh, they faced a judge. They were in federal court last week. They are not on this list of parents choosing to take this route. Uh, and then there are others that are taking a very different route. Two parents say they're going to trial. Uh, Gregory Colburn, a doctor, and his wife Amy, they face the additional money laundering conspiracy charge in this case. They are among the first parents who have been actually indicted uh, in, in the case. An attorney put out a statement, though, proclaiming their innocence, and they've claim that their son took his uh, SAT with no assistance. Guys, back to you. I think it's fascinating because this entire bri uh, scheme and this bribery scheme was a considered a charity, so all of them were able to deduct it from their taxes on top of that. But Molly, I'm just going to direct this to you, and I know this is it, pretty much getting you to editorialize. Do you think that Huffman <laughs> went ahead with this to plead guilty because she didn't really contribute, she paid what, uh, less than $100,000 versus uh, Massimo and Lori Loughlin and other, these other players that gave um, pretty much $500,000. Do you think that has a lot to do with it? Yeah. Uh, well, really interesting point you bring up there, the kind of the disparity in the amount of money that these wealthy parents chose to pay. Huffman paying 15000 for instance, Laughlin, Massimo paying over 500000 yet the, all these parents are facing the same charge, this uh, conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. Uh, so essentially what they're... It may not necessarily make a difference how much money they paid into doing essentially what resulted in doing the same thing. That could very potentially be up to a judge if he weighs that factor. We don't, you know, we'll see what actually happens when sentencing's come about, which has yet to occur. And you brought up an interesting point there about taxes. Also noting this paperwork that uh, came out from uh, the de Department of Justice, the United States Attorney Andrew Lelling, District of Massachusetts paperwork. It says all the defendants who improperly took tax deductions for their bribe payments have agreed to cooperate with the IRS to pay back taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's uh, another interesting note here as this continues to go forward. Molly, do you think that uh, some of these parents are choosing to plead guilty in the thought that it might be better for their kids, that it may get rid of this thing quicker or something like that? I mean, it, it, nobody would want to drag this out when their kids are sort of on the hot seat here, right? 
Well, there are a couple of reasons where that could very potentially be the case here. We've seen a, a few of the parents openly express their remorse, and particularly remorse uh, for the embarrassment that they've caused their children, notably those statements that I just read. So, you know, that's a very strong possibility. There's also, it's also worth noting that the mastermind of the scheme, William Singer, was caught very, very early on as this was beginning to unfold, and then he cooperated to a certain extent. So the government has, has to conversations between many of these parents and Mr. Singer, mm. talking about payments being made, what the payments are for, that sort of thing. So it could be that they looked at the evidence that the government has declared that they have. There may very well be far more evidence that we haven't seen, but what's actually in the documents uh, that they're, and they're taking a look at. So they could be weighing oh, really a, a great number of factors. And many of them are certainly paying some very high powered, powerful uh, attorneys that may be helping them to make this decision as well. That guys. You know, Molly, if I were the judge in this case, I don't really want to see an episode of desperate inmates. What I would like to see is the judge say, uh, instead of you making a bunch of money for the rest of your life, you've got to live on $75,000 a year and everything else you make goes into scholarships wow. for the kind of people that your kids <laughs> cheated. So let's talk about what are the potential penalties these folks face uh, from the judge or a jury, depending on whether they go to trial or not. Yeah, a number of interesting things you mentioned there. So depending on some of the documents we've seen so far, we have seen forfeiture agreements in place. Now, we haven't seen the plea agreements uh, for every single parent or been able to go, go through them. But in the case of, for instance, one of the coaches involved, we did see a forfeiture agreement in which a large sum of money was going to head back in the direction, as you mentioned. Now, whether or not that would end up in any... Uh, students pockets that certainly deserve uh, to get tuition money and whatnot uh, you know can't, can't I can't imagine that scenario but I can say when we were outside court last week and there were a couple of students that had signs that were like hey Lori Laughlin uh, please pay my tuition when you get out of prison so we also have yet to see whether or not any of these uh, defendants in this case will go to prison and if so for how long yeah. uh, so the 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 plea the uh, those court those sentencing dates have yet to be have yet to be well if uh, the judge is if the judge June is sentencing is a big month to walk for those sentencing yeah. I dates, hope he so. was listening to uh, Governor Huckabee because I, I love that solution you know that they a certain percent of their income in perpetuity goes to paying for scholarships for other people